Okay, so now we're on the passenger side. We're gonna install the wing skin. One thing that I would do if you have the subwoofer, um, like I said, the subwoofer plastic through here is taller. It's harder to get access into anything. And unless you've got a long wrench, a dog bone, or small hands, it's gonna be really hard. So one of the key features is on the wing skin, there's this top bolt hole right here. This corresponds with your wing wall for the subwoofer, this right here. This keeps people from prying up that forward corner to get into the system. So what you're gonna wanna do is actually take and bolt this together and put that bolt all the way in tight, okay? When that's all the way tight, this is pre-working pre your subwoofer side. With that in there tight, what we're gonna do is Spin this around the roll bar and kind of just set it loosely in place. Set it up on the roll bar, the wall will drop into place, but what you're gonna to wanna to do is you need to get that fork plate underneath the body roll. So to do that, you're gonna to have to lift it up, pull it out, and eyeball making sure your fork plates are going under uh, the skin or under this body roll and between the plastic uh, on the wall. So. We're in there pretty good right now, and it just drops in place like this. You'll leave this loose because there's a little bit of adjustment. You still should be able to get in at this bolt and this bolt to tighten it the rest of the way down. Um, I went to where I had about an eighth of an inch uh, left open on it, so that way I could pull the fork plate down and get that to slide in. Uh, it's nice because the rubber seal right here protects your body as you're sliding it in but that will definitely help you with your subwoofer wall. And now that it's in place, we'll put the rest of the frame together uh, like we did over on the other side.